Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry with my patented Trindamir jungle. He has similar carry potential to Master Yi jungle, except he doesn't need near as much pill since he has his ultimate to self pill with. For your runes, you want Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Lacrity, Coup de Gras, with Free Boots, Cosmic, Attack Speed, 80, and Health. First item rush is always Stride Breaker, it slows the enemy, speeds you up, and you can use it while you're dashing. After Stride Breaker, you're gonna push for tier twos and look for items like Bork and Kraken. Trin jungle is a bit of a slow starter, because his first clear isn't particularly healthy, but everything after his first clear feels pretty good as a whole. I'm going to start on my red buff. You never want to let Ivern get your red. It sets you very far behind, and it sets him up for good ganks. So they're in my jungle right now. They're going to mess with me. I already know. And then after that, we can look for things like Kraken Slayer, Bork, Infinity Edge. It's going to be a fun game. Got E-Star, Auto E. He's a good auto reset. And we'll look to do red and the Krugs here. Every time we crit, it puts E on a lower cooldown, more so against champs. Boop. Get a point in Q, it's extra AD. It also gives us more AD the lower in health we are. The heal aspect, you don't use much while you're farming. Although, if you're about to kill a bunch of stuff in one swoop, you can heal and then kill it. Whenever you kill something, crit something, or auto something, it gives you extra fury. So, for example, if you're about to spin through a bunch of little Krugs, or a bunch of little raptors or whatever, and they're all going to die from it. You can heal, then do the spin. Something to think about. We're going to spin through. Now, being a lower in health does have its advantages while you're farming. You clear much faster. That's the main advantage. The disadvantage is, of course, if you have to fight the enemy jungler, which it's Ivern, so we don't. This is a very good matchup. Hard matchups would be ranged junglers like Kindred or Graves would be very frustrating. We'll go two points in Q here to full clear. I do not want to gank bot right now. Every point in Q gives us more AD. Oh, it looks like he took my blue. What a scumbag. I don't have a point in my W now. Ivern players don't realize that Ivern has it's one of the fastest clears in the game. I think it's like a 3-8 or a 3-10 full clear. It's really easy to do. So when he invades, he's actually just kind of putting himself behind. Are they waiting for me or something? I'm kind of tempted just to back. I feel like this is warded. They're definitely acting like it's warded. I'm going to hold on to my spin for a second until I know what's happening. There's too many people missing. His iron's probably top if he's not on this one. I'll hit the plant, keep our fury up. You have to be in combat, I think it's 8 seconds. Yeah, after 8 seconds you start to lose fury. Looks like my bot lane's pushing. Can't do anything then. I'll just reset. I'm going to have to play really power farm heavy this game. I am not there. We'll go double longsword, pick up oracles, E out of base. If I was Ivern, I would never gank Vlad because of blood pool. I would probably just camp bot. Yep, Ivern's bot. Nice Caitlyn flash. Vlad wants assistance. Absolutely not. You picked Vlad mid. I'm not ganking for that. It's a waste of time. Hey, let me describe ganking for Vlad mid is Vlad walks at them, Fizz walks away. Good gank. Vlad flashes on him, Fid tr Fizz troll pulls away and gets away from both of us. Good gank, right? So we're just not going to do that. You have to be able to discern for yourself. Like, like, are we, can we gank Gragas? No, we can't. He just dashes away. There's no point. Absolutely 100% pointless. So that's why I said like Ivern shouldn't even go mid because Vlad's going to blood pool and Vlad gets away. Like me and Ivern don't have a whole lot to gank. He has more than I have, but neither one of us can really go mid. So it's just about who farms faster on first clear. He definitely farms faster than I do outside of first clear. I think I farm faster. Auto E auto. See how healthy we're farming now? A lot healthier. Go another point in the queue. We could smite to pull it. I don't know if Ivern's in the area. Free Boots is a little risky on Tren. It's extremely good scaling though because it's an extra 10 movement speed plus 300 gold. 
It's a greedy early game though. It hurts your ganks not having the ability to purchase boots. We can take this fast. I already have Fury stacked up. We'll go ahead and E into him. Brand his bonus damage against monsters through his burn. I think it's like 300%, two or 300%. Might be 215 actually right now. Wow, we're taking this quick. <laughs> Holy crap. K headshot spam. I can't really gank bot. The way that bot lane's playing is not very receptive. The enemy bot lane is playing extremely defensive. We'll see if Fizz starts to rotate. We know Ivan can see us from bush. Otherwise, we'll just stand here and hack this down. I could even heal myself. Do we heal, spin? You see I have all my fury back because we killed a bunch of stuff. That's what I'm talking about with the fury regeneration. Crits, autos, and kills. Fizz is being aggressive here. Auto WE. I'll ghost it down, force him to do something. Down he goes. He was so far up that even a trend gank is pretty scary for him. We have high auto damage if we have space to chase. Secure our red buff. We could heal. There's no need. We'll clear faster. Being lower health. Keep an eye on Gragas. Iron's probably here. Since he's not bot right now, he's not mid. He's most likely on the grubs. We can auto spin over. Your spin does damage all around you. It's very close around you though, so make sure you're close enough. We'll get a point R. And we're scaling. We're a lot like Master Yi in terms of damage output and stickiness. The main difference is with our R, even if we don't have an Enchantress on our team, we can still hyper carry. Yi kind of needs an Enchantress on his team, like a Morgana, Lulu, Yumi, Soraka, Zillion. Not like those types of things, right? So here I can heal myself. About to spin through the whole thing. And look, we're basically back to full fury. We could back for phage or Tiamat. I push more for phage on train than Tiamat. Tiamat AoE you don't need because of your E spam. Unlike a Warwick who desperately has to go for bombies or Tiamat. Warwick doesn't really place on fire anymore though because they took away the on hit. Flame touch passive. It's like last season or season before that they took that away. To where, yeah, Warwick unfortunately can't really go Sunfire anymore. We're just farming it up. Easy. Auto E. Another point in Q. Q is giving us a bonus 25 AD plus extra AD per missing health. Ivern is mid. Ivern tier 2 boots. Fizz, no boots. I want to reset. I'm sitting on a tremendous amount of gold. Wait, Ivern's top side. He's taking those grubs again. I mean, I don't mind. I don't have ghosts. So I'm not really looking to gank bot. Caitlyn's low, so. I mean, with Seraphine doing that, I might be able to do something if I actually went there. I wasn't expecting that outcome for her to actually do that. Brand's going to die. Brand got a little greedy for it. Seraphine could have potentially dodged that and then Brand dies guaranteed. Sivir is on Ghost, so she's pretty fast. I don't have red buff, but I do have smite. I just hit her with a smite. Got with the W. We'll say spin from when we can no longer reach her with autos. Close fight, well played. We're going to actually take this since we're already here. You generally shouldn't do this, but since I'm already here and I'm Trindomir. It's actually the right move to do, even if it does piss off your AD carry. Now, if my AD carry was closer, if she was substantially closer, then I wouldn't have done it because of the risk of it causing her even more emotional distress. She might troll me, so. I didn't have to burn ghosts there. We kind of took our time with W. The very millisecond they turn their back to you, you don't have to use it, especially if you're already in auto range. You can let that mental pressure build on them. It's just like in, uh, in blood sport and fighting when... Someone has the threat of the takedown, it opens up all their other options. You don't have to do the obvious option that they're trying to predict. You can hold on to that, and then that makes them their reaction to your other options far inferior. That's what we kind of forced out of her. Plus, I have higher base movement speed, so even if I don't use any ability, I'll be able to keep up with her and smack her down. <sighs> Another point in the E. Auto stride rate. We can use it to farm with. Auto E. 
we're clearing so fast and the faster we clear the faster we clear the faster we clear the faster we clear the faster they spawn very positive reinforcement loop Fizz is bot. I can't save Caitlyn in time. Maybe. Oh, actually, I think she stalled it out. She's not playing it bad. Those traps are terrible, though. Got him with the slow. Spin, stride break, smite. Got my R on. Auto. I need crits off my E, spin back over the wall. I knew the enemies were going to be nearby. I didn't realize they were going to be that close. Luckily, trading gold on Trin isn't the end of the world because 300 gold on us is more effectively than 300 gold on them. It's a pretty bad outcome, though, with Ivern getting a cleanup. He's going to look for drag. He's going to take it pretty slow. Their team's very kind of CC heavy. So we will go Merc Treads as much as I hate to do it. Really freaking hate Merc Treads as an item. And we can go for Bork next for the slow. We'll E out of base, try to get there. Even if he gets it before we can get it, we can push into his jungle, clear out his camps, force him to back. And we'll have tempo because we have item, current item advantage. He's on it right now, obviously. So it's, if Sivir's there, we'll see. I don't have any Fury built up, though. Yeah, I can't do anything without Fury here. I can cut Sivir off, though. Got a little bit of fury right here. Sivir can't come back to lane that way at least. She's going to lose some plate for that. Seraphine's not even walking Sivir back to lane. Yeah, how are you going to get back to lane, buddy? Where are your teammates, Buster? Is your mom here? Are you alone? Auto W. Walk her down. Boop. Boop. Oh, Fizz, that's sad, my man. Maybe it's not sad. He killed me. <laughs> Got his ignite, at least. Caitlyn dies. Uh, recurve bow longsword. I need to get back to farming. I'm wasting a lot of time trading off gold. <sighs> Getting a little bit fed, at least. Vlad's farming. Trundle is somewhat ahead, although he hasn't gotten his full item. We're really, 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 really fast. We're at 400 movement speed, not even in combat with speed up from doing physical damage off stride break, which is an extra 20. Stride break also slows and speeds us up on top of that. I'm going to wait to spin. I need to start taking Ivern's camps. This little scumbag. Got the Strider Breaker. Knocked him out of his charm garbage. I'm going to ghost with him. Down you go, buddy. Well played, Ivern. Hey, Siver. Nice spell shield. That almost looks scripted how perfect it was. And it's Smiter. Stride Breaker R. Well played, buddy. I'm going to run out this way. Ooh, they have me on the pinch. I still have my R. He actually knocked me out of my E. Well played to him. They knew exactly where I was. They knew exactly where I was. That sucks. The way they pinched, they didn't even send someone to hide. Just direct location. There must be a word over here so they knew I hadn't actually gone up there. Stinks. Stinky. Ooh. See, I'm having to interact with Seraphine a lot more than I would like. Dragging up in two minutes. Ivern is over there. Ivern is a full item. Sivir on the flank. S Sivir tier two boots. Fizz tier two. I'm not over there in that fight at all. Somehow Bran lives there. That's insane. I'm going to invade Ivern's jungle since it's kind of wide open bot side right now. 
Silver says, play a real champion. It's like, all right, buddy. It's funny because Trinity Mary widely isn't considered very viable right now. In any given position, he's not really considered better than a top 20 at best. At least according to general pick rate win rate. Got it. Hey, friend. I should be able to run away from Daisy. I got the fast boots. That's how we do it. Did damage. We got his R. That's a huge outcome for us. This is a weird fight, though. There's a Seraphine R. I don't want to go in on that. It's just too much. I don't have as much tenacity as I would like yet. If I had Sterics for another 20% on top of my 30%, that'd feel good. Auto spin away, get another point in R. Drag is up in 30 minutes. We have a red buff we need to rescue over here. I think we should get that to brand or something. I'll turn on my oracles and we can hack down these wards. I do have R, so I think we should fight. They just lost all of their vision. This is bot side. We lose the red buff here, unfortunately. Let's break this and we can go straight for drag. Nice, got with the W, auto stride break. Alright, I'm on Ghost. I want to run them down deep here. And she got me with the snare. It's worth sacrificing Brand for Fizz, as funny as that sounds. It's so good for us to get gold on Trin. I don't have Smite for this, unfortunately. May not need it. I need to take as much of Ivern's farm as possible. We're really, really fast. I got green jungle item as well. Always full health. My E is almost up. I don't think they even have vision of this spot. How much many awards we broke. Nice. Thanks for the leash, buddy. Gragas is pretty good against me. Gragas is coming for me right now. They know I'm in his jungle. They were hoping I was going to go for their wolves, but I didn't. Got him with the W. Nope. Didn't get a W. Got him with the stride break, though. I still have my E. I got Ivern R plus his item. That's very, very good because I didn't burn anything, really. I'm going to beat the budge out of Daisy. Come on, Daisy! Fight me, boy! They're breaking our turret right now mid. Server obviously doesn't want a team fight. Yep, okay, Siver, I'm going to go crack your head, my man. She needs to suffer for that. Get with an E, stride break. Well played to Siver. Put a well played right on the top of her head. Siver. <laughs> Seraphine Grag is chilling near a turret that's almost dead. Trundle could break that with an auto Q. We just kill this chick. I'll get my Fury up and I'll dive her. That's cute. Get with the W stride break. Auto E auto. Down he goes. I'm going to get inside of Shelly. Down goes their turret. Now we need to take their camps. <sighs> We're going to get wolves. We're going to get blue. Or at least blue. It's blue for the whole team because we finished jungle item as well. Dude, I'm sitting on almost 4k gold. 3.4. Oh, cool. There's wards. He turned to auto me, so I missed my slow. I'm just going to E away. They lose Daisy. I'll get my health back pretty quickly as well.
They probably have this awarded. I'm just E away from Gragas. Good job, Gragas. I still got the Raptors. He gets nothing. I need to spend my gold. This is a bad fight. Their red's about to be up. I want to reset. I mean, Ivern's two full items for Pete's sake. Next up, we will go for a, I think, Kraken. I want attack speed. I have lethal tempo, so I'm not going to attack speed overfill. Trin also doesn't have any attack speed steroids in his kit inherently. It's just bonus AD on Q, so crit's pretty good on him. Don't have any crit yet outside of our passive. Ivern's reds up. I want that. Five reds on our team is hella broken. Auto spin away. Take all the camps. We're at 176 CS. As long as we still show up to dragons, playing consume is the way to go for Trin or Karthus. Take absolutely everything. We're hitting for almost 500 damage on these big monsters. And they have a bit of armor as well. Oops, <laughs> I wasn't close enough to the wall. Ivern's at 89 CS. This happens a lot with supporty slow farm junglers like Ivern or Zach when they're against a hyper carry farmer like Trin. At some point in the game, you go in their jungle and they just can't farm anymore. They end up not having any CS. As long as we don't take any really bad fights. Go an E into him, auto W stride break. His phase rush is completely negating our slow though. All goes to the scumbag. This bag of scum. Worth. Uh, I don't know why Brand took that. I would have left that if Vlad was falling. Wait, why are we letting them have Dragon? Drag Souls are a win con, and we're for some reason doing Baron. Someone else should be tanking this. I do the most damage. Hey, Fizz. Again with a W. Run down. Stride break. I don't want to get behind him. I don't want to dash through. E auto. He's going to dash through. Big surprise there, right? Hmm. Can take his wolves. Stride break. Uh, I'll just auto daisy. Boxer. Jump out whenever we want. He's super low cooldown if we're in combat. Second and half shorter cooldown when we create a champ. If I was Master yeah, I don't think this game would be very playable. Ivern Snare, Gragas Double Nox, Seraphine CC. Kind of need our R. Can I get here in time? Kind of. We are at 215 CS. Might be able to pretend. Nah, we can't end. We're too low. <laughs> we have over double Iron CS right now. Get this Fury up. Got him with the W. Stride break auto. E smite. There you go, buddy. That is GG's. Take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Really like me some stride breaker trend jung hole. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. For damage taken, most in the game. Self mitigated, most in the game. And for runes, high value. All in all, trend jungle stride breaker. It is a nutty carry, absolutely not sure. The first clear, you're not super healthy, but after that, it feels super, super good. If you guys enjoyed this trend video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.